I'd love to work on something which is a vertical takeoff and landing supersonic uh, electric jet um, and, and leverage the, uh, you know, what I've learned from SpaceX and from Tesla. I've thought about planes for a long time, but my brain will explode if I do planes. Anyway, this is like, there's like a lot of regulatory things you have to go through and um, there's, there's some smart people I have to try and tackle it and I, think, I hope they are successful. The idea of an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft has been in Elon's mind for a very long time. In his latest tweet on the topic, he strongly expressed his desire. He wrote, I'm so dying to do a supersonic VTOL electric jet, but I already have way too much on my plate. Any more work and my brain will explode. An electric supersonic vertical takeoff and landing electric aircraft for a while. Um, I'd, I'd love to do it. Um, but I think my mind would explode. It's pretty saturated working on electric cars and, and rockets. Undoubtedly, accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy, colonize Mars, and solving full self-driving cars are ambitious enough goals for only one person. However, he recently unveiled his new challenging project, the Tesla bot. Tesla is arguably the world's biggest robotics company because our cars are like set, semi-sentient robots on wheels. And we're also quite good at uh, sensors and batteries and uh, actuators. Those same areas of expertise where Tesla excels, batteries, electric motors, and artificial intelligence, are the main pillars in the development and operation of current electric VTOL aircraft. So what are the real reasons why Tesla's CEO hasn't yet announced an electric VTOL jet? In this video, I will go over the motives that may be preventing Elon Musk from embarking on the production of a Tesla VTOL jet. In part 2, I will analyze everything Elon has ever said about the Tesla aircraft and I will present the potential design characteristics that the Tesla jet will have if it ever happens. Elon Musk recognizes that the only way to solve the traffic congestion problems is to have a 3D transportation system. He states that, having 2D streets and 3D buildings means bad traffic forever. He is a strong supporter of the idea of building tunnels to tackle this problem. I remember when you first told me that you were thinking about tunnels. And when did I first tell you about that? Years ago. Okay, it's like a long time ago. Yeah. Like, I thought you were joking. Yeah, yeah, it was. I was joking. But the... <laughs> he founded The Boring Company in 2016, an American infrastructure and tunnel construction services company. The main drawback with his idea is the massive upfront cost needed to build the tunnel infrastructure in the first place. The Las Vegas Convention Center Loop, a three-station transportation system consisting of only 1.7 miles of tunnel had a cost of $47 million. On the other hand, the aerospace between 150 and 3,000 meters is for the most part largely empty. This isn't strange to Elon, but the idea of flying cars was always laughable to him. Oh, you want a flying car? How about everyone around you has a flying car too? Oh, <laughs> that doesn't sound so good. He sees the ability to travel fast in 3D as the main argument in favor of EV tall aircraft, but the risk of falling noise and the inability to travel in bad weather as the main aspects against them. Definitely, noise emission is the main factor that will dictate the success or failure of an eVTOL aircraft design, and the current leading companies in the space are aware of it. Most of them have achieved a noise level 100 times quieter than a traditional helicopter during takeoff, and a near-silent sound level in overhead flight. If somebody's going to build an electric airplane, it's the company with the best, lightest, most efficient batteries, right? Yeah, it's it's not, it's just, it's hard to, it's an entirely different regulatory regime. Um, it, like there's, there, there aren't any car companies that are also aircraft companies. The certification can take between three and five years for a Part 23 aircraft, which includes airplanes with a maximum passenger seating configuration of 19 or less, and a maximum certificated takeoff weight of 8,000 kilograms. Elon is fully aware of this situation. I think it's incredibly hard to bring an aircraft to production and meet all of the regulatory uh, requirements worldwide. It's a very difficult thing. For example, Joby Aviation, arguably the leading eVTOL company worldwide and likely the first one to hit the market, started with the design of its aircraft back in 2009 and is expected to get the certification by 2023. This demonstrates that not only the certification process is complicated and slow, but also the task to come up with a viable design that is quiet, safe, and affordable for mass production. 
It is reasonable to think that Tesla could spend a lot of money in research and development to try to speed up this process. But that is not the case. Elon explains. It's not like if you just had more money, you could spend it effectively in R&D. But if, if, there was a, if there was a factory producing excellent engineers, that would be true. <laughs> where, where is this factory? The EV tall aircraft design Elon has in mind is likely very different from what other companies are working on at the moment. He wants to build a supersonic jet with a range greater than 500 miles. The uh, energy density requirement to have uh, aircraft with the uh, reasonable range is much greater than for cars or ships. So um, my back of the envelope calculations suggest that you need about 400 watt hours per kilogram to have uh, aircraft with a decent range. This is where, with a range where it's comfortably over a thousand kilometers, mm -hmm. um, including some reserves and, you know, uh, emergency power and that kind of thing. Current EV tolls are far from matching Elon's specifications. At the moment, the Lilium jet has a maximum range of 155 miles and a cruise speed of 175 miles per hour, while the Joby S4 has a range of 150 miles and a top speed of 200 miles per hour. The idea Elon has in mind is almost impossible to materialize with the current battery technology. He has acknowledged that the number where his design starts to make sense is 400 watt hour per kilogram. And then as you go above 400 watt hours per kilogram, it gets really uh, better in a non-linear way uh, because you spend so much of your energy getting to altitude. Once you get to altitude, uh, the air is thin and your cruise, uh, cruise, cruise power is, is quite low. Um, so once you get, if, if you go to like 450 watt hours per kilogram, even though it's, let's say, 460 or 480 watt hours per kilogram, you will, you will double the range. Um, so even like a 20% increase, let's say, in energy density will double the range to at least 2,000 kilometers, if not more. Future improvements in batteries may stimulate Elon Musk and the Tesla team to start with the design of the supersonic VTOL jet. We're getting there progressively with uh, improvements in the energy density um, almost every year. Uh, so this is just watt hours per kilogram. And uh, uh, a lot of the improvements in energy density actually also improve the cost because you need less material because uh, you're able to, to put more energy uh, in uh, the, the same amount of material, which means less material per, per unit of energy. Um, you know, where we are right now is um, you know, a little over 300 watt hours per kilogram. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the very expensive cells can do over 400 watt hours per kilogram. Uh, but the, the, the high volume cells, I think, will start to approach 400 watt hours a kilogram as well. So I, I would expect to see uh, a significant transition to um, uh, electric aircraft, uh, starting initially with propeller planes because they're more generally more efficient per kilometer than uh, jets, um, and uh, and then and then turboprops and then um, commercial uh, airliners and that kind of thing. I believe we will see Tesla unveiling an electric jet at some point in the future. All forms of transport will go electric, and Elon Musk is in an ideal position to make his supersonic EV tall jet happen, leveraging what he learned from SpaceX and Tesla. If I were to start another company in the future, which I don't think would be anytime soon, um, it would be uh, in to, to try to create an aircraft that is a supersonic vertical takeoff and landing electric jet. In the next video I will go deep into the specifications Elon has for his EV tall and how the design of the Tesla jet could look like.